Don't forget. Record and Facebook Live. And oh my God. <laughs> Coming to you from the heart of the Pacific, brought to you by Pauly by Design. She's respected at all times. Broadcasting from San Francisco, California, the city by the bay. It's about to go, about to go down. We shine on positive Pacific Island and Road Mile every Sunday. Party on a Sunday. From 10 a.m. to noon, it's time for the iconic Pika Podcast with your hosts, listening to Naki and Carl. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> We're a little late. The woo woo is a little late, but hey. late. Good late. morning, everybody. Welcome to the FICA podcast. Today is Sunday, April 12th. It is season four, episode 12th. So that's that is uh, the fourth month, the 12th day, and it's season four, episode 12. Happy Easter, everybody. Happy Easter. Once again, we are in Naki's. Dining room mm-hmm. uh, with family in the house. Sunga's running around saying hi to everybody. Dad, my baby. Um, today we have in the first hour, we got our check-ins. We got topics to talk about. Mm-hmm. We have all kinds of positive things to try to offset the bad news of COVID-19. And we don't even know if we got a second hour because we don't got an interview and we don't have a guest. So <laughs> that's we our gonna, show today. We're going to go as long as we can go. Naki, what's up? Good morning. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to everyone. And uh, my mama who's in uh, Chula Vista watching. Well, she's not watching, but hopefully she's watching because Mena hooked her up with or somebody hooked her up with Facebook this week. And so um, just same, same stuff happened this week as happened the last four weeks is, um, is uh, everybody's home, stay in place, shelter in place, social distancing. And so now it's getting really serious. Like I went to uh, the store this week and usually like last week I went to the store and I would just walk in. Now, uh, I showed up to the store this week. There, it was an hour. They opened an hour later, and there was a line with everybody lying six feet. Did apart. they let the uh, the elderly shop before you? Um, they opened. I, I, that's probably why they day. started late. That's probably why they started uh. late. So, um, and then I forgot. I could have went in the store. Damn it! Um, people, there was they. It, so they opened early. Uh, hour early for the elderly and um, what is it? Uh, essential workers. Mm-hmm. And so we were standing in line. And I was watching people go, you know, go in. They say something and then they would just they would let them in. And then I remembered essential workers and the um, elders can shop earlier because of COVID-19. So um I was like, ooh, I could go in if I really wanted to. <laughs> I could go in if I really wanted to, but I'm not it's not that serious. And so there you go. And then um this week, um, we had Talanoa and we'll talk about that after you check in. Um, no work for me because I'm home. So until um they set me free, I'll be home. I've been walking Sunga. Sunga is um, our Alaskan husky, our baby. And then um, if you can share this this podcast, we appreciate it. Just uh, we've got some good information and some statistics, some stats, some data for uh, census. If you're in the Bay Area, we're going to pull up where where you're lagging. So um that's pretty much it, right? <laughs> Most of the time, we're just here talking trash. I know, uh, I know. But we actually have statistics and facts We have on this facts show. and statistics this week uh, for the census. And so we just want to show you where, um, where the numbers are high, where the percentage is low, so it'll motivate you to get your family and friends to fill out the census because we're literally home doing stuff, nothing. Really, <laughs> <laughs> I got back into reading some books, Ooh. and so um, we're gonna talk about that. Yeah, um, I started rereading a book that was gifted to me by Linda Masoli, and then um, 
um, yeah, just been home. Wash every, we need everybody to, I'm going to continue to say, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. And uh, that was my week. I was just home with my babies and I started to walk. This week I kind of lagged on the walking because I was lazy and I wanted to eat, but that that's it. That's that all. Walking, taking up, taking up your eating time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want <laughs> nothing to cut into my eating time. So um, my sunga is walking around and she's got me a little shaky because she's right in front of the camera. <laughs> it looks like it's about to tip over. Um, so yeah, that was my week. How was your week, Carl? Uh, real quick on your check-in and mm-hmm. uh, the book that you're reading that uh, Sister Linda Monsoli mm-hmm. uh, gifted you. I saw a really uh, cool interview and it was with uh, Jeremiah Masoli, uh-huh. Linda's son. That's the um, quarterback quarterback for the Hamilton Tie Cats. Uh-huh. Um, and it was about his injury and about his journey back. And it, this was, I think, it was um, more the sportscaster specifically his thought because it was something that struck him. He said that he'd been meaning to ask him for a long time. Mm-hmm. And it was a video clip of um, after they had lost in the playoffs last year Mm -hmm. um, of Jeremiah leaving the field. And then Linda comes up and gives him there's a real heartfelt. Oh, I seen that. Yeah. I was um, thinking of of Linda Masoli when we started the show. I don't know. I don't know why I was thinking about that. And then you said that she had referred um, gifted you a book. I know. Linda, our guest from last week, and if you missed out uh, on last week's episode, uh, go check it out. She has some great financial advice. Yes. Um, my week, I am continuing to work on the helpline on mm-hmm. at the company that I'm at in Human Resources. So I'm talking to um, associates and team members across the country that have tested positive or have had um, loved ones, family, or friends test positive that they could be exposed to. So. Ugh. I'm still um, really on the on the front lines in terms of taking information and hearing very emotional stories mm-hmm. from people that are being affected by COVID-19. And it really, um, I think it's a more of a personal thing when I hear people say it's a hoax, it's a fraud, right. um, it's this and it's that. And then when I hear that and then I hear and I speak to people who have had their lives impacted by it, Directly, people right. dying, husbands dying, wives dying, associates being rushed to intensive care. When I see those kind of things on social media, um, it really strikes a nerve with me um, about that. So that's my week. I uh, continue to that phone call, that hotline that I'm on uh, several days a week continues to be just keep me connected to um, how serious this whole COVID-19 thing is. I know it just it's scary. And and we were talking off camera earlier about other what were we, like Just opinions people, of people that have different opinions about the virus and and i get everybody has their own opinion and what you think and what you think is going on like the people the conspiracy of you know there's something going on besides covid i mean i get that you think something else is happening but covid-19 the virus it's so real you i know? think that what bugs me is the opinion that social distancing that there's something in something behind that that's trying to keep people apart or right. they're, they're trying to drive fear when you look at especially the article that the Atlantic had mm-hmm. um, about London Breed and what she did for San Francisco. She's freaking awesome. Um, when you think about what happens, what is still happening in New York mm-hmm. and the very um, not just possibility, but probably more probability yeah. that California has reached um, its apex and the curve is not going to be anywhere near as severe as other country, other uh-uh. countries and cities. They didn't take the measures that London Breed did. Right. And she really led California through that. She when you did. think about the uh, what hasn't happened in California mm-hmm. due to the measures that were taken early and that a right. lot of people were really vocal about, wow, she's overreacting. I don't know why she'd be doing this. Mm. Um, when that reaps the benefits that it has and saves the lives that it did, right. it lets you know that social distancing is important it's and very it's important, important from a preventive standpoint because there's no vaccine yeah. no vaccine no cure the best thing we can do is not get it right right so i just wanted to shout out uh tammy tongyai rodandi who's checking in from oregon good morning tammy good morning uh, tammy. tapai ala ilepule lisa vaivau good morning manuia le seta 
Uh, Agnes Pelisasa Hellier Arpuka, who is checking in from Florida. Happy Easter to you and your babies. Gloria Ortega checking in from South San Francisco. Go Colts. South City in the Woo-woo. house. And so um, Neo, our Neo is here. Rachel Dor- morning, Jordan, brother. my Rachel. Uh, good morning, Pisa, who's checking in from Denver. And PJ, good morning, PJ. Happy Easter to you and your family. Happy Easter to everyone. Family. Rachel Jordan, I, I got a bone to pick with her. Oh, oh. She keep putting out these quizzes that I keep getting wrong. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of quizzes on on social media and a lot of uh, you know riddles and quizzes and I can't get I got any a couple of right them. and then I got cocky in the last like three or four that I've answered. I've answered like <laughs> four times and they're mm. and I'm wrong every time and Rachel was just the most recent one. She's like, sorry uncle <laughs> <laughs> Bye bye. Bye bye. So yeah, but we talking about the the virus uh that um, is so real. I we might as well just talk about the 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 London breed. Yeah, I yeah. Think there's a. I think it was the Atlantic um, had the article, yeah. and it talked about uh, London breeds decision before there was a um, documented COVID nineteen case mm-hmm. in San Francisco. Mm-hmm. She chose to shut it down. Right. Uh, she took the seriousness of uh, stopping transmission, and she led. Really, the West Coast and and yeah, I would say the West Coast. Yeah, so because um, after that came the six counties, and yep. then came uh, Governor Newsom implemented that statewide. Yeah, so. so big shout out to Mayor London Breed, and they're saying the um, commissioner Fong posted an article this morning on social media uh, that Mayor London Breed's early and aggressive moves to contain the outbreak have made San Francisco a national model in fighting the pandemic. So mm-hmm. uh, great job. Congratulations. And then after she shut down San Francisco, it went on, like you said, to the six counties and then State. so on. And then say, you know, uh, so good job. Good job. Good job. Uh, Ray follow. Good morning, Ray. Uh, Gloria says, good morning, Carl, not Rams amigo. <laughs> <laughs> so if we can ask you guys to just share this, share this podcast so that in a little bit, we're going to be talking about the census and where, um, the census, the percentage of the city, and where you're at, where we're lagging and that we need to contact our friends and family to fill out the census so that we can be counted. Yeah. I think, well, I don't know exactly um, because I'm seeing more and more of these posts on social media about, and they're liberty-based. I mean, they're talking about, you know, we're being told we have to stay in our houses. We yeah. can't go to the beach. We can't do, you know, and there's a lot of articles that are being posted. Right. I saw one about a paddle boarder that was pulled in and arrested um, or given a citation. I don't know. He had contact with law enforcement. Right. And the post, and that's one of the things I always try to do. The post is meant to make you mad about what happened. Right. And so I look at it and I'm like, well, let me let me dig into this and figure out, you know, the whole story. And the whole story is the beach was closed. He yeah. shouldn't have been out there. True. And he was told by the lifeguard, don't go out there. And then right. he was told when he was in the water, come back in and get out of the water. And he wouldn't do that. So they called the cops. Right. Um, so it wasn't like, you know. Some, so it wasn't it, extreme. Right. He and had he was several told, warnings. Yeah. A closed beach, get out of the water, all those kind of things. But um, these are temporary measures. It's not right. like this is going to be something where, you know, you're not going to be able to drive across town i saw somewhere they were limiting uh travel from residents to residents right. um those kind of things it's temporary we're trying to stop the spread of something that we don't have a vaccine yeah for. i mean it's so serious like i've i've been home and like i think that i'm you know i miss my family and i'm like you know my brother just lives the next city over and i want to go see him and his his grown kids but like his daughter my boogie just flew back um she's back from texas she was going to school in texas and because of covid she's back home but i want to go see her because i haven't seen her for a couple of months and so i want to hug and kiss her face but we can't because of covid we want to if you know if you love your your family and and you just follow follow the the what is it not the rules but just the follow suggestions the, guidelines. the I mean, guidelines there you go it's like the people on the beaches in florida that said oh it's Ugh. spring break i'm going anyway mm-hmm. or the people who went to mardi gras and said oh right. it's it's mardi gras i'm going anyway right you know that it's 
it's irresponsible personally, but then it's right. also irresponsible for the people, for your family, for people that don't know that you were yes. at a party last week, um, that you were around a huge group of people and you mm. don't know whether you were safe or not. I mean, it goes beyond just your own personal beliefs. It goes on to, could you be transmitting things to people that you could love? Could you? Yes. Yes, you definitely could. I just want to shout out Billy Tree Fun. I can't. Hi, brother. Billy man? Just, yes, Billy, Billy. Man. I can't up, pronounce your last name. But hey, hi, brother. Happy Easter. Mary Talamoni. Good morning, Mary. Tolua Sulu Umaleava. Happy Easter. Chia Pepe. Taltalasasi Jr. Good morning. Baki Lepolo. Eddie Unutoa. Happy Easter. If you can share, share, share the podcast, we're going to have some information about the census. We're going to. We're official. We have, you know, like stats and data that we, we really want you to. Um, it's a rare time. On it's the a rare podcast. time that we <laughs> have. <laughs> you and I are the ones delivering consistent information. Yeah, right, right. So, you know, but it's it's on Facebook. It's on the Internet. So it must be true. <laughs> it's from the U.S. Census. So it's from come the on. government. Well, it's from the government. Uh, speaking, of, well, you know what? This week, uh, we had an ethnic media uh, services um, a meeting with the media. So they were talking about... Um, Which means the, yet another Zoom Yes, meeting. Zoom meeting. Like tons and tons of Zoom meeting. I wish I would have bought stock in Zoom because I would be, I would be chilling big time. Now I'm just chilling. <laughs> but, now we're um, just using their product. Yes. Money. Dave Lynn Mahi, good morning. Good morning. So I had a meeting or a Zoom meeting with Ethnic Media Services, and they had an, uh, somebody from the IRS, big IRS, was talking about the stimulus check. Um, when you're going to get your stimulus check. So if you have direct deposit, you will get it no later than April 17th deposited into your account. Okay. That's good, from the good. tax man himself. That is from the, t it was a tax woman. Tax, tax woman tax, herself. It was a tax woman. It came straight from the horse's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> just, um, you'll get your check on April 17th. <laughs> if you have direct deposit, it will get directly deposited into your account. Um, and if you don't have direct deposit and you're waiting for a paper check, that could take a long time. Um, it's going to be a long, long time. So if you don't have direct deposit. That's an official time. That's, that's an official time. Long, long time. Long, long time. And so I was going to get Chris. There anyway. February 17th. No, January. No. Okay. April 17th. If you don't have direct deposit, you can go on to irs.gov. Log in there. They'll have. Oh, damn it. What was it called? free something alliance something go on there you'll find where you can put in your direct deposit information mm -hmm. to get your stimulus um money directly deposited into your account if you've um and they get that from if you filed your taxes for 2018 and 2019 and you have direct deposit um they'll direct they'll Deposit it into your account. Um, share, 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 because this is good information. Now, if you don't have direct deposit, you can go on to irs.gov and put in your information and they will direct deposit your account into your account. If you have not filed your taxes for I don't know how many years for I don't and it's none of our business, they don't even care about that. They don't even care about that. They just, because everyone is getting a check, whether you filed or you haven't filed, uh, but you've been working these last couple of years, go on to irs.gov. There is, uh, there will be a link on April 17th um, that they will post where regardless if you haven't filed for the last couple of years, they're not even going to ask you why, nothing. They just need you to put in your information and they'll, they'll direct deposit your check. Um, if you are uh, currently get SSI, which is Social Security Insurance, and you have direct deposit, you don't have to do anything. They'll just direct deposit it into your account. I think we've uh, posted a calculator, a mm -hmm. stimulus calculator, to see how much you think or you want to know how much you're going to get. We posted that on our uh, our Facebook page, so go check that out if you're interested to see how much you're going to get. Everyone is going to get a check. Um, you just It just depends when. If you prefer the paper check, it'll come in a month or so. It's just they prefer to deposit it directly into your account, uh, but you will get a paper check. 
Um, good morning, Rose. Good morning, Jen Ghani. Good morning. Happy Easter. So that that's what I got from our ethnic media services meeting that we had. It's media like they have a, they had an IRS person on. They had like three doctors come on and, and still all three doctors said the same thing The to help prevent. We need to stay at home and only leave your home if it's necessary, like to go get groceries, essential groceries or to walk your dog. <laughs> But most dog parks are closed. Um, so yeah, that's I'm I was happy about that because I know um some people um were curious about when are we you know, us people we, we wanna know when we gonna get our money. So that's April seventeenth is the latest direct deposit. SSI, you will get direct deposit. And if you they don't have your bank account, you can go on there, like I said, and fill out all the information. Good morning, Prince Uola. Thank you. You're welcome. Share, share, share this podcast so we can share this information with your friends and family. Good morning, Rose. And so, yeah, that is when you're going to get your money. They had all kinds of topics they were talking about. I was just interested in the stimulus. When am I getting paid? <laughs> I just want to know when I'm going to get my money. So I took notes and was like really paying attention to that part. And plus, I know a lot of people want to know when am I going to get my money. That's a serious situation for a lot of people right yeah. now. I mean, it's right. not like I'm going to get a check and I'm going to go, you know, do something foolish with it. There's a lot of people right now that are going to get the check and they're going to go to the grocery store and they're going to buy food. Um, there's people that have been out of work for weeks and, you know, like I and said, need I need that money. Yeah. And I think rent is going to come, oh. you know, that's going to come second. The eviction protections, yeah. um, Isn't, that yeah. are out there know what eviction protections and what right. mortgage protections are in your area. They vary from city to city, county to county and state to state. Right. Uh, but do your research. There are rent protections out there. We post yes. them when we have them, but right. we're not going to reach, um, you know, we got listeners in Alaska. We got right. listeners in the UK. There's going to be things that we don't cover from a locality standpoint, mm -hmm. but there are things out there. Do your research. Uh, there are retailers right now. Retailers like Subway and Dress Barn and right. Ross and these 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 retailers are not going to pay their rent. Yeah, um, they're not going to pay the landlords, and I, it's just you know, it's I saw a question on. Uh, Social media is, should you ever be evicted if you can't go to work? If you have a job and you can't go to work, should you ever get evicted? And that's a really good, that poses a really good question. Yeah. Of how long are these things going to last? Mm -hmm. And then what support do we get by, get from the government? Um, because it's like, this is unprecedented. Yes. These things that haven't happened before in the world, haven't mm -hmm. happened before in the United States. Um, and, you know, I've, I'm pretty impressed by some of the... Um, I'm not a big Gavin Newsom fan. There's right. a ton of things that he's done that I've, I've you know, been really vocal against. Um, but the way he's handled this particular situation, um, I, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of yeah. the way he's handled this particular yeah, situation. Yeah, me too. Um, I wasn't a big Cuomo fan, and I think that that New York reacted late. Yeah. But in the way that he's handled it since, and the way he's communicated and led right. the state of New York. I'm a fan of of Cuomo in the way that he's handled this, but I don't think the people we need to get carried away. I see some things where people are like, "Oh, this guy for president, that guy for president." Right. I don't think that because you're handling this particular situation, I necessarily want you know that person just because of that to be the president. But it it does speak to the huge divide there is with Trump right now. Of do you support Trump or do you not? And all it did was cement. Is 50-50. Right. Like half the country loves the way that he's done it and half the country hates the way that he's done it. Right, right. I know. I just, I wanted to, okay, good morning, Mark. Good morning, brother. Happy Easter. Good morning to Andrew. Batilua Tunai Tuala. Good morning, Andrew. Happy Easter, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. If you, we can ask you to just share the podcast so that we can, um, furry friends can be added. Um, we just want you to share this information so that your friends can learn what we learn. Like we pass on the information and we get it directly from the IRS, directly from the doctors. Prince Walla is wondering if we, she can add or he can add her furry friends for uh, on their stimulus check. Desperate times. <laughs> we all want to add our furry babies. Yes. 
So um, go on irs.gov. They have lots and lots of information. And then when we come back from our break, we'll go into unemployment that I learned stuff about unemployment and who can apply and, and who cannot and da 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 So um, good morning, everyone. And also, Afu Tufuli, good morning. If we can ask you again to share the podcast. I know I'm getting on your nerves with that. Um, so our first song um, that we're going to play today is Why Do We from... Kawini Vaitai out of Hawaii. Uh, you're listening to the FICA podcast. I am Naki. With me is Carl. We'll be right back. People say that they can change, but they will never make arrangements to schedule meetings with God Almighty, the one and only Lord up above. Why do we, why do we seek the Lord? a stranger why do we always seem to call on him but when we fall astray we always seem to fall back in sin money is the root of all evil god won't give us what we can't handle and how do we dig our whole deeper than you Yet still he takes away all of our problems, hey. Why do we seek the Lord when we're in danger? But when we're in riches, we act like he is just a stranger. Why do we always seem to call on him? But when we fall astray, we always seem to fall back in sin. Day after day. Down in sorrows There is no telling What promises tomorrow I'm hoping and praying My spirit's never hollow Lord, show me the way And I will follow Why do we seek the Lord When we're in danger But when we're in riches We act like he is just a stranger And we won't be ready The time is now and His grace is pushing steady I ask you for guidance and simple understanding I know your love is so natural and unfailing oh. Why do we, why do we, why do we Why do we 
And we're back. You're listening to the FICA Podcast. I am Naki. With me, as always, is Carl. Happy Easter, everybody. Good morning. Happy Easter. Thank you for tuning in. This morning, we were talking about, so we were talking about the stimulus check because we all want to know when we're getting our money. And again, I'm going to repeat this because I'm going to dig it into you. You're going to get, if you have direct deposit, you're going to get your check on April 17th. Not a check. It's going to get direct deposited into your account. If you don't have direct deposit, go on to irs.gov and um, fill in your direct deposit information. Um, whether you, here's a big thing is some people that don't file their taxes, um, if you haven't filed your taxes, you can still go in and put your um, direct deposit information there because everybody is supposed to get a check. Regardless whether you have filed or not, they don't care about that. They're just trying to get rid of the money that, um, the trillions of dollars they need to disperse and they need to do it as quick as possible. And that really, that's what they're trying to do is get all the money out to everyone so that you can pay your bills or buy your food or whatever you need, um, to get, um, for your family. And so stimulus, 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 April 17th. And then again, you can go on to irs.gov to put in your direct deposit information so that you can get your check. SSI, don't worry. You don't have to do anything. It's just going to get direct deposited into your account. How about that? Mm -hmm. And I got that all from the meeting that I was on, the the Zoom, the 50 million Zoom meetings that I'm on every week. You paid attention. Yes. Ethnic Media Services. um, That's who has these great meetings with great information with doctors from all doctor a doctor from LA a doctor from New York a do, I mean a, and specialists that tell us that the one of the the most important thing we need to do is stay home stay home stay home to help prevent um all kinds of cuckapoo <laughs> I just, that's an official term. That's an official cockapoopoo term. <laughs> so, good morning. Kimberly is uh, checking in. She is an essential worker. So, thank you for everything that you do. Happy Easter to you and your family. Mary Vea, Mary Vea, Vea is on. Good, good morning, morning Mary. Mary. Happy Easter to you, too. So, um, while I did this Zoom meeting, They talked about unemployment. So you can file for unemployment for lost wages and you can chime in too, Carl, because you're you're with HR. They (laughs) said on ethnic media that you can file for unemployment um, if they cut your hours because of COVID-19. If you um, have to stay home to take care of your kids because the daycare center that you uh, go to has shut down because of COVID. So you can file for unemployment um, if you, if you have to stay home, if you're home and your hours, or if you're still working and your hours have been cut, you can still file for unemployment. They have they have a pandemic emergency fund or or unemployment thing that they've started. Um, so they have money for people for unemployment. So not only do you get your unemployment, but you, there's extra money because of the the pandemic um, emergency fund. So I know someone who is getting unemployment because they're not working and they're getting six hundred dollars on top of that because of the pandemic. So don't be afraid to file for unemployment, uh, file for unemployment. And, uh, because there's a fund, you know, I know normally, uh, unemployment, you have to file for unemployment and then you've got to prove that you've looked for jobs. You got to prove that you, you know, you have to say that's not happening. You just have to file for unemployment. There's a pandemic emergency fund. And so you apply if your hours have been cut, if you've been uh, on furlough because um, your company shut down like a lot of um, retail businesses like Macy's and and blah, blah, blah. There's been a a big, not a big, but I've seen a lot of discussion about, oh, it's a furlough because that means then you can't get unemployment or it's a furlough versus a layoff. The difference between a furlough and a layoff is that when you are furloughed, you can go back to that if they open operations back up you can go back to that position keep your tenure um, not have to reapply and you're just reinstated if they open up operations again versus if you're laid off you're no longer employed with them so that's the main difference it doesn't have anything to do with unemployment whether you're furloughed or whether you're laid off to Naki's point if you are furloughed or if you are laid off obviously you can't apply for for unemployment 
Um, but I think the main difference is, and we've talked about this on several podcasts, is that if your hours are reduced, a lot of people think that you have to be terminated or you have to have left the company to be able to file for unemployment. If your hours have been reduced, um, you can apply for unemployment for the difference that has been reduced. Yeah, so I I just love that the government is kind of kicking in to help everybody because sometimes when you um, file for unemployment, it usually is not enough. And so with the pandemic emergency fund, um, it helps you a little bit more. Like I think the the I don't know what the max is, and I don't know what you're gonna get. I'm just saying, for example, one of my friends uh, is getting the max whatever unemployment and on top of that six hundred dollars so i thought that was awesome you know that's better than nothing i think the um the idea behind unemployment is it's kind of a stay over to get you to your next job so Mm -hmm. you would be living off of whatever savings you have and the 70 percent or whatever they give Uh you through unemployment the difference is right now you're not you know you didn't get fired from a job right you and then you're looking for another job your job shut down right because of the government uh, right you know, the government changes. So it's a different, you know, people are like, well, why would, why would people get a hundred percent? Like the incentive to work isn't there. I don't disagree with that, but at the same time, it's not the same situation as if you got right. um, let go from a job and the entire industry and the entire country was still operating normally. It's not that way. Right. Right. So I love that. I just, I love the information that I got and then I'm able to share it with everyone. And so, um, good morning, Voins. Sue-sue-tang-aloha. Happy Easter, uh, Jeanette Neves. Good morning. Happy Easter to you and your family. I hope you enjoy the day. Um, I know there's a lot of church services um, that will be going live. So that's awesome that we don't have to leave our living room and you can pull it up on Facebook and, and the Internet. And the so, technology has been amazing. Yeah. So people, you know, we can, we can talk about that, mm-hmm. Pacifica Talanoa. But yes. it's just one of the different innovations that people have come up with during this whole, you know, being locked in your house kind of mm-hmm. thing, there have been a whole bunch of creative things that have come out of this and like uh, streaming church services. Right. I think there's things that are going to continue out of this. And I think that a lot of churches were already streaming anyway. Right. They were already doing things where they were recording their services and either providing it later on YouTube or providing a streaming service. But it was more of a luxury. You know what right. I mean? Like you could do it if you just weren't there at that point. I think that this is those are one of the things that are going to come out of this right. are going to be more normal. Right. I think streaming services. Uh, I'm going. That's one of the things that I'm going to do coming out of this is I'm going to zoom more um, with people. Right. You know what I mean? Just so I can see their face. Right. Um, that kind of thing. I was not a big FaceTime. Uh, nope, you weren't. No, not at all. Nope. Uh, person he before. Hates it. <laughs> But I think coming out of this, I'm going to do this face-to-face thing mm-hmm. way more often. Like it's now, it's a necessity, but it's really something that uh, brings you. It's more personal than a phone call, right? So I think I'm going to do more of that, right? And I think, um, I think that um, Zoom is is fabulous. Like there's there was another one we were on. I think it was like Web something. Webex. That one sucked, and so <laughs> Zoom was a lot better. And I, like this this past Friday was Reno on Hawaii's birthday. Happy 22nd birthday mm-hmm. to Reno on Hawaii. Birthday. And his mom had this um, Zoom, everybody sing happy birthday at 7 p.m. So um, that was fabulous that he got to see all his family. And he's in Hawaii still. Oh, no, he's back here. Okay, he's here. Um, and he got um, to see people all over the world and, and family. So good morning, Wit. Happy Easter, Wit. Good morning, Melissa Anderson. Go follow Melissa on Instagram and Facebook. She has she sells a lot of cute products, um, like lays and says and bracelets. It's it's fabulous. She Go sell really her. big earrings. Yeah, she, I, Melissa, I need big <laughs> earrings. <laughs> so good morning, happy Easter to everyone. Um, now, what was I saying? We were talking about. Oh, hell. Um, We were talking about earrings. I love earrings. Of course, I am into earrings now. So feel free, anybody, to send me earrings. Just hit me on the DM. (laughs) I've always wanted to say that. Hit me on the DMs, whatever that means. (laughs) Our producer is shaking her head. Yes, she's shaking her head. (laughs) 
Happy Easter, Vet, this morning. Ooh, we good morning, um, good morning, Vet. I posted her baby, um, her 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 niece that's named after her. Go check it out. It's my memes that I post every morning, and I usually don't post on Sunday, but because it's Easter Sunday, and she sent me this really cute Easter pic. So there you go. Um, we were gonna talk about. Let me go check out the agenda, people. Just just give me a minute. Pacifica Tullanoa. Pacifica Tullanoa. Go ahead. Oh, I thought you Okay, were so <laughs> Friday, really? <laughs> Friday, we have... So we've been promoting and posting um, uh, this thing that we started, Pacifica Tullanoa. And we started this because... COVID-19, we're all stuck at home and we're so used to seeing our, our, our people um, on a regular basis and just to check in. And, and then we thought, geez, if we're feeling this way of loneliness or, or needing to talk to people and talk about um, not problems, but just life, life. What? And, and if we're, you know, we want, we're wanting to talk, I'm sure there's other people that need to talk. So we posted a flyer saying, you know, we're just going to talk. We're not professional psychologists. We're not counselors. We're just a bunch of people getting together, wanting to talk about, you know, do you, are, are you feeling lonely? Let's talk. You know, it's good to talk about everything. And so, um, Neil Veve, um, he was, he facilitated this and we had a big, pretty big group. Like there was 13 of us. There was 13 on, um, and it was, it was really um, way more personal and sharing. Than right. I thought it would be impersonal, staring at your computer know, screen. But, but after a while, really it was like you were looking at the person. You were looking yeah. at the when they were talking. You could feel yeah, it. Yeah, you can. Feel and then it. the end of it, I mean, physically, you didn't have a physical hug, but there was virtual sharing of feelings. There yeah. were tears. There were laughter. Yes. Uh, there was all kinds of really good, uh, healthy sharing of emotions and feelings, and I was really proud of the group. Um, yes. Everybody shared. Everybody shared. Uh, everybody's really open. Yeah. And it, it was, was the first really good. thing. It was kind of that, that first time where none of us really know exactly how it's supposed to go. Yeah. It was all like, well, conceptually, this will happen and this will happen. Mm -hmm. But in the end of it, just people talking to each other, right. relating Seeing to each other. Seeing other faces. Sharing, you know, what was frustrating, what was sad, what was, you know, things that we were doing to stay healthy. Right. Um, there was a lot of talk of like, you know, oh, I do this or I'm reading or I'm walking. Um, I got some things out of there that, that I want to pick up and do. But then uh -huh. but it, it felt like... Um, everybody was trying to make it work. Yes, yes. I, it just, I first, I thought, oh, you know, it's new and people aren't going to talk. And, and so, but it, I mean, we are so hungry for human contact. You know what I mean? So um, I, I love that everybody shared and talked. And I just want to say good morning to Policia Tanuma Fili Penny. Mm. I hit all the vowels. How about that? Why? Am I, I, yeah, because I went to a Samoan culture, <laughs> language and culture class um, that the the pa pastor, Faleava, taught me how to kind of speak it proper. So good morning. Good morning to my sister-in-law, Siangi, who's checking in from Alaska. Good morning, sister. Happy Easter. Princess Luluski. Good morning, guys. Shout out to... Oh, New Zealand in the house. Ooh, Good nice. morning, New Zealand. Uh, we're trying to get to you this year if all goes well. <laughs> maybe next year, maybe next year because of this COVID thing. Fetisa Afasa Fonopo. You can't Fetisa. go there now anyway. Good morning. Happy Easter. Yeah, can. we can't go there. Yeah. And New Zealand has shut their doors, which is good. Um, I did... We. A lot of islands is still no report of COVID-19 from all our Pacific islands. So I think that's awesome. And I think it's because we're secluded and out in the ocean. So nobody, you know what I mean? Like now there's no flying, but we're really, Samoa has, um, is not letting flights in, is not letting flights out. I think uh, Tonga and New Zealand and Australia, everywhere has shut down and there's no reports, not that I can think of and that I've heard and that I've seen on the news. There's no reports of COVID-19 in the Pacific Islands. How yeah, about that? One of the things that people are saying is, and it has to do, they say the same thing about California and San Francisco is that, you know, there aren't any reported cases because there isn't enough testing. 
So they're saying there is, well, there could be, but there isn't testing. And my response to that is, well, they wouldn't be able to cover up deaths. Yeah. So if you have cases, you're going to have deaths. And the just in, in the instance with California, yes, uh, the death rate is so low that it would indicate that there aren't cases. But right. you, granted, there are, you know, testing isn't yeah. what it should be. But you can, you're kind of hiding the case rate if you're right. not testing. You can't hide deaths. Yeah, people you are can't, dying. Right. You know what I mean? Right. That then that's going to come out. So um, I still think even if there were, if there are unreported asymptomatic cases in places like Samoa, Tonga, mm -hmm. across the Pacific, or in California, right. there may be. But if it just comes down to the bottom line is are people dying in our our hospitals full? Yeah, and they're not. They're not. So that's that's. Awesome. That's great. Polic Policia Tanu Mafili Penny is checking in from Utah. Good morning, Utah. Oh, Speaking of Utah, good morning, Britt. Mwah, mwah, right. mwah. Happy Easter to our Afu family. Good morning. So, yeah, we were talking about no um, reports of COVID-19 in the Pacific Islands um, in all the islands. I mean, so far and what we don't know. And it must, if there is, it's not a high, we haven't heard. Right. Cause right. we would know, right. You know, we don't, we like gossip or death and weddings spread like wildfire. Okay. Pacific Islander people, we know that gossip and all that spread like crazy. So we haven't heard anything. So that's awesome. That's awesome. 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 So, um, if you're just tuning in, you won't get your check on April 17th. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. <laughs> Stimulus check, April 17th. There you go. So we were talking about Pasifika Telenoa, which is uh, a Zoom meeting that we have. Um, we just started this past Friday with Neil Veve, who is one of the founders for Utopia, was our facilitator. And we had uh, approximately, counting with all of us, about 13 people. It was a good group. And we had, you know, and you don't have to be just in San Francisco to join because it's Zoom. You can actually be from anywhere. And so I love that we can keep in contact with our family. We can see each other's faces through FaceTime and Zoom. You can get a group a big group um, together. So we just talked about how we felt, how COVID, um, how we're all dealing with COVID and then um, that it was good to see other faces other than, I know we love our family and stuff, but it was good to see other faces and to talk to other, other people that are going through the same thing. The good thing, this is uh, it's on the internet. It's worldwide. Yes. So if you hear what we've been talking about and you want to be a part of that, you want to be a participant, um, very easy anywhere in the world. We can uh, send you an invite if you're interested. Mm -hmm. Please email us at the FICA podcast at polybydesign.com and we will send you, we'll put you on the list for an invite for next Friday. Yes. And we have Rini, Talifi, Brian. Good morning. Happy Easter. Thank you for checking in. If we can ask you to share the podcast so that um, we can, you can get the information and your family and friends can uh, check it out. You know, the main thing that one of my big meetings is that you will get your check, your stimulus check, April 17th, if you have direct deposit. So that that's, I know I keep talking about it, but you know, during that meeting, that's all I cared about is when I'm going to get my money. Um, sister, Sister K is on. Good morning, sister. Happy Easter. I love you, love you, love you. Good morning. Um, okay, good morning. So, Pacifica Talanoa, that happens on Fridays. Um, a lot of stuff has been happening on Fridays with Zoom, like um, Sister Manufo, Reno's birthday party that happened via Zoom. Um, Island Block Radio had a couch concert where you can log into Zoom and see artists performing from everywhere uh, from the comfort of your own home. So, and uh, lots and lots and lots of other stuff and that was going on uh, Friday. So we may, I don't know, just, let's just, we're going to have another one this Friday. So again, if you want to um, participate or just come and listen and then the good thing about Zoom is you don't have to have your picture up if you don't want to. You can put yourself on mute and just FICA, just listen to everybody and see what it's all about. And, and, and you know. You can change your name. Change so your, your name. name doesn't appear mm -hmm. um, underneath the little box that you're in. Right. Um, you can put a different name. You can put no name. Right, right. So that I love. That's happening Friday at 6 p.m. So what email are we using? Are we using? The FICA podcast. We're using the FICA podcast at polybydesign.com. And then everybody was emailing Neo last week. So that that's still good if you want to do that. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Um. 
we're going to go to, we're going to talk about the census because if you haven't filled out your census uh, form that they sent you, what's wrong with you? Fill that out. You just got to go online. You don't even got to go anywhere. You just get on your computer. You can't go anywhere. You can't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, you can't go anywhere. But why haven't you filled it out? And let me just tell you why. You should fill it out. We're missing a lot of resources. Pacific Islanders were so undercounted in 2010, which is what the last time the census was was out. It's every 10 years. And so in 2010, way, way undercounted. And we're missing out on resources and funding and, and grants that be that could be particularly or just for Pacific Islanders. It's because we're not counted. Um Happy, good morning, Michael Gill. Happy birthday. Melanie Dixon, good morning. So I'm asking you to share because we have a lot of good information on this podcast and the census that we're doing, the census that we want to push because Pacific Islanders were way undercounted. So if you haven't, I know you've gotten your form and it gives you your code or whatever. I think that's for your household. If you lost that, you can still log into census, the census.gov and fill out your, um, census and everything is confidential. Um, if you're living in a space where you are renting and you said there was four people, but there's actually 20 living in your house, we ain't judging you. We're just asking you to fill out your information. Your landlord's not going to get it. Um, it doesn't ask you for your, your, if you're, um, if you're, uh, what is it? What? <laughs> If you're a citizen, if oh. you are, if you're documented, documented or undocumented, they don't ask you that. We don't care. We're just trying to get Pacific Islanders counted uh, for the 2020 census. We're going to get, re I mean, we're missing out on resources. We need to know, like, for an example, somebody used that they needed to go to the hospital and because, it, and it's a person of color they needed to go to the hospital and when they had to travel two cities over because that was where the next hospital was but if you everyone is counted and we don't count people and you get missed i mean we could be missing out on a school being built a school closer to your home a hospital closer to you uh all kinds of stuff. Gina, Gina Della Torre, good morning. morning Happy Gina. Easter, sister. It could also mean that they don't close the school next to you. Right. Because if you're not counted and then you've got a school next to you and they don't know that there are all these people in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. they look at the census numbers and go, oh, wow, there's not that many people in this neighborhood. We can close this school and move all the students over to that school. Right. So it, it can affect opening of schools, but it can also affect what stores or stores, what schools are closed. If there's uh, they, they need to close schools, they're going to exactly. leave the ones where the people are at. Right. Right. So it's just I wanted to pull up um, uh, this stat thing that I got. And it's so cool. It's uh, like uh, it's you can actually see it go to U.S. Census 2020 and I get it online. But if you look so it's. Breaks down, I'm just going to pull up San Francisco really quick because in San Francisco, if you look at this um, map that we have up, it's going to show like where it's really, really blue is 62 to 68% of San Francisco has filled, Bay Area has filled out the census. But if you can, if we can zoom in, can we zoom in? If we zoom in, I have a map of just San Francisco and how it's broken down into Hunters Point, Bayview District, Mission District, Dog Patch. It's just, it's okay, so we can't zoom in. But if you see where it's like a light peach, that's 40 to 50%. And the darker the brown, like there's a really dark brown spot, um, you can see you can see that it's 15 to 30%. So let me just tell you the dog patch is at 40 to 50%. And some areas of Bayview district is 15 to 30%. Uh, we need, we know there's hella people in that area that we need you to fill out the census 2020 Excelsior district is at 40 to 50%. Glen park. They're at a high, like 68 to 74%. So it's just Sunset District is at 56 to 62%. But where we're, where we're at, like, let's see. 
Daily City is at 40 to 50 percent. We need to come on people. Um, South San Francisco, my people in South City is at 40 to 50 percent. Um, San Bruno, where is San Bruno? San Bruno is at 40 to 50 percent, and they have like a a blank spot where there's no data. I'm, 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 ch I'm thinking there's no data. Brisbane, look at Brisbane, 56 to 62 percent. So San Francisco Bay Area, we need to let's let's get this done. We need to be counted, and let's get let's get everyone counted just because of the resources and the funding and grants that could be that could be um, specifically for Pacific Islanders. Yeah, and that's kind of you know to most of our listeners are in the Bay Area, so if you've got family. Um, if you live in or you have family in the Bayview, in Hunters Point, at Sunnydale, um, and then all over South San Francisco, and you have family there, make sure, reach out, make sure that they have uh, filled out the census because the data is showing that we don't, we're not doing a, not specifically the Pacific Islanders, but we just need to make sure that um, if we have people in those neighborhoods, we're reaching out and making sure that they are have counted uh -huh. they've um, done the census or if you right. particularly have not um get involved get involved yeah please just fill out your census it's nine easy questions they don't ask for if you're um documented or not it's real simple they don't um ask really just private questions i mean it's just nine simple questions it takes like five minutes depending on how many people are in your house and then um, there's a spot where they ask you what ethnicity or race you are and you want to check it says pacific islanders and i'm shocked that they had samoan on there so i checked the samoa box and then there's another box that's empty where you can write in your island. So if you go on there and you check the box that you're Pacific Islander, you can write in the box if you're Tongan or from Marshallese or uh, Palawan or whatever your island is, please take the time to write in your island, type in your island in that box yeah, so we can be counted. That, there's a few that are named and have a bubble. It's mm -hmm. Samoan, Chamorro, um, Native Hawaiian, I right. think. But then there is a um, Pacific Islander other box, and then there's a text box that you can write in and be as specific as possible. Yeah, it's it's awesome. We just, I, I love that they put the box there, and I just love that you can fill out your own island. So please go there, fill out your island. Be, let's be counted. Erlene Faola, good morning. Happy Easter. Um, Michael says, nice shirt, Carl. Happy Easter. Mm -hmm. Anthony Chan. Good morning, Anthony. Mwah. Happy Easter. Um, happy Easter, everyone. Please share this. We had great information about the stimulus check, unemployment, um, the census, um, just lots and lots and lots and lots. Um, we were talking about Mayor London Breed, who has, she's, uh, who is that? The Mayor London Breed has um she was the first to uh start the stopping you know coronavirus the city that has flattened the coronavirus curve that's what it says so big shout out big kudos to mayor london breen who has started all the poopity whoopity and so um tangi sanga good morning thank you for tuning in this morning so again you're going to get your dollars stimulus check april 14th if you have direct deposit um, what else do I have on here? Oh, 17th, let, right? April 17th. You, I, I stand corrected. April you 17th. You have people writing you on the 14th right. going, Naki, they where's were like, my money? You said <laughs> I will get my money. No, if April uh, 17th, April 17th. And go to irs.gov for all your information. I did notice that if you had a small business, you cannot apply for, um, um, Unemployment. You cannot apply for unemployment. It's it's awful. Uh, but your employees can. There are grants. There's, uh, I don't know, $100 million. There's a lot of money yeah. out there for um, small business mm -hmm. owners. So research that. There are There's money available for you if you're a small business owner. Yeah. Is, they're grants, not loans. Grants. They're grants. They're not loans. So that's awesome. Jeanette Neves, good morning. Junior Afua, good morning, brother. Happy Easter. Alofa and Vala Maluia, good morning. Happy Easter to you and your family. Cha-ching, yes, Vet. 
April 17th, we're going to get our money. That's all I was talking. I was telling everyone earlier who was on, if you're just checking in that we had this big old ethnic media services meeting. And the only part I was paying attention to was the stimulus check. <laughs> I mean, I was paying attention, but that's that, that was one of my big things. We're going to go to a song. Ah, April. If you don't know, April is autism awareness month. Autism society has a variety of resources to design, design, Designed to inform and encourage communities to celebrate differences. And that's what we're doing this month. Tons of information available at www.autismawarenessmonth.org. So April is Autism Awareness Month. I did post, though, because Lex55, they're on Instagram. They had this really great uh, T-shirt. And it was like uh, an Ava Bowl. And it was just, it's Go check out, go follow them on Instagram. I did, I did um, order me a t-shirt. Hopefully it'll get here before the month is over. Um, but it's April. April is Autism Awareness Month. So um, do you want to read something before we go sing a song? I'm, uh, I'm sure, not singing sure. before we play a song. You're not going to. Okay. Uh, let's see. We can help our communities and families. Oh, we, already, we did lots of that. Yeah. Um, our very own Neil Veve presents Hot Siva every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning at 8 a.m. He's going to share coffee with you first. So if you log on early, you can have a cup of coffee with him before um, the stretching begins. And then the Hot Siva flows after 8 a.m. Follow the Neo Show Facebook page for low impact stretching and aerobics to PI music. The Samoan Community Development Center and shout out to the SCDC. These they are out there doing it. They're yes. in the community delivering Big shout food. Shout out um, these this team and they're all over social media. I love that they're pushing. They're all they're really active um, and it's some of the things that I don't know that I've seen before from SCDC. Um, so shout out to them. They are way more visible, at least on a social media news stream than I've seen before. Yes. So this week, April 13th, to April 17th is distance learning spirit week. Join the fun, take a picture and send it, um, to them at S E D C underscore S F on I G and Samo and community development center on Facebook. Monday is pajama day. Tuesday is cultural day. Wednesday is Crazy Hair Day, Thursday is Mix Match Sock Day, and Friday is Twin Day. Also, if you or someone you know are in need of essential supplies, food, toilet paper, therapy, etc., please fill out their application online. I know that has made its way in the circles and all over right. uh, Facebook and, and IG. If you do not reside in San Francisco, please fill out the application below, and they will try their best to connect you to other resources in your country. So I'm assuming that that's posted on our social media. Yes. Yes. It's posted on our social media and the application is everywhere. And so even if you're not from San Francisco, they can connect you, like you said. So I love that they do that. So big shout out to Samoan Community Development Center. Woo woo. Good morning, Fafi T. Fiso Jr. That real quick. Can I talk about my cousin, um, Jr.? Or am I? Um, he, uh, he, <laughs> Uh, my cousin Junior posted a picture this week of him. He shaved his head to um, support all my funkiness that's going on here. And so he sent me a picture of him and then he posted it on, on Facebook. So I just wanted to give him a big, big, mwah. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you for that. So happy Easter. All right, go ahead. Continue reading. Chabot College is now hiring for Ethnic Studies 6, Intro to Pacific Islands and Oceania Studies. Applications are due April 20th. We've uh, posted the flyer on our social media, so look for it there. Follow Nisians Unite on Instagram for more information. Yes, 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 yes. So um, our next song we're going to play, our second song, um, is from Langa Savea, and it is Lily of the Valley. You're listening to the FICA Podcast. We will be right back.
stars shine along me. Let your love shine through me in the Pangongo Samoa is a stage play written by author Sia Figuel and adapted by Samoan Solutions. We are gearing up for our third season and need you, yes you, to join our cast of talented community members. Auditions for speaking roles and singers are happening February 22nd and February 29th in San Bruno, California. Sign up at www.tinyurl.com backslash FOS auditions one or www.tinyurl.com backslash FOS audition two. Not interested in a speaking part? No problem. Sign up to be a villager at www.tinyurl.com slash fangongo sign up backslash F-A-G-O-G-O-S-I-G-N-U-P. We will also have free Samoan arts and culture workshops at each rehearsal. Sign up today. Rehearsals start March 14th. See you there. We're back. You're listening to the FICA Podcast. I am Naki. With me, as always, is Carl. Happy Easter, everybody. Happy Easter, everyone. Good morning. 
Lily, that was Lily of the Valley by Longa Savea, and we have Lily Fiso online. <laughs> good morning, cousin. Happy Easter. Uh, Simone Kalave, good morning. So go ahead and share this podcast because you missed lots of information about when you're going to get your stimulus check and how you can get it and tons and tons. And unemployment, we talked about unemployment and census. We do need you to go fill out your census survey. Go online, fill it out. Let's be counted. Let's be counted. Um, what was I saying? Oh, that was Fangongo Samoa, the the ad that we had just played. Samoan Solutions every year. Well, the last four years, last three years, they have a play Fangongo Samoa by Sia Sia Figuel, who um, has written short stories, and they do a play um, every year, which is a really, really good play. And this year, it's supposed to be in July, so I think that is still going to happen depending on COVID. They're still having rehearsals um, uh, via Zoom. And then uh, Tifa Moana took over their Instagram last, last week. I mean, it's... A great, great play. And if you haven't seen it, you have to go this year. Take your whole family. It um, happens, I think, this year is in San Bruno. Um, but it's put on by Samoan Solutions, uh, Epi and Fanga, who are two of the founders for Samoan Solutions. They do a great job. It's a great play put on by the community. And so if you haven't seen it, please go check it out. Look for it um, to come out in July. They're doing rehearsals online. Um, they're having having uh, workshops they've done um, online. So everything is, is still moving. They're still moving. And Fangong Osamo is, is a great play that we're, we're asking you to not miss because it really, really is a good play. And you can take your whole family. And um, the last time we went, it was packed. So you need to get your tickets early. Go follow Samoa Solutions on uh, all their social media, Instagram and Facebook. And um, Fatmamalu Designs has been up. Uh, the Epi who runs that, she started uh, um, their her uh, design company, is it? Mm -hmm. Yes. So and she had does flyers and posters. So go follow her on Instagram. She does a great job. Um, what else? So there's a uh, a rumor this year that uh, the author Sia Fagel will be in uh, right in the audience this year. So hopefully, uh, I know they've been trying to make that happen the last couple of years, and mm -hmm. conflicts in her very busy schedule right. has not allowed for it. But um, I think this year is uh, could be the year they have uh, Sia in the audience. Right, right. So you don't want to miss that. Get a chance to talk to the author and what inspired her and why she did this. And so check them out um, again. Fangong Osamoa. Check out Samoan Solutions page on Instagram and Facebook. Samoan Community Development Center is doing a great job for resources for the Bay Area. If you're needing um, essentials, check out the their page. And, and shout they out have to that entire team. The, the entire, entire team, team over there continues to get food to people, to provide services. They're now on virtual platforms. Right. Um, they've just adapted and found ways to continue to support the community. And it's it's amazing what uh, Patsy Tito and her team are, are continuing to do. Yes. In this day and age of uh, you're supposed to not be around people, they're finding ways to still to still support. Yes, and they're doing a great job there. Pacific Islander Wellness Initiative is also, they're having their um, clinicians. Um, they have, I think it's uh, Monday and Wednesdays. So the check, you check out their social media uh, pages. They're um, starting this week. The uh, Manu, Manu Malo. Manu Malo. Um, he, yes, he did an advertisement, an ad for uh, PIY. P-I-W-I, -I, Pacific Islander Wellness Initiative. So check them out. Go to their page. They're starting Monday and Wednesday. Um, they're having Mana Mondays and How You Doing Wednesdays. So that is good. Everybody needs to check in. It's everybody's mental health. And, and Manu and Tupi um, that are there at uh, Pacific Islander Wellness Initiative. So check them out. Where you at Wednesday and Mana Monday. I think that's it. I think we're all... So quick shout out yes. to um, everybody on the front lines. And specifically, I'd like to talk... Um, last week, I talked about the retail workers. Mm -hmm. um, this week, I would like to thank uh, the people in our corrections 
facilities across right. the country. These are people that are working, that are locked up just like the inmates are. Mm-hmm. So they are in close quarters with uh, inmates and their own workers. There's just not much you can do in some of those situations. Um, and doctors, just like doctors and nurses and medical professionals that are constantly exposed, our corrections officers and staffing that are in the prisons are constantly exposed as well. Um, and there is a high rate of positive tests of people that work in the prisons. So mm-hmm. our heart goes out to all of the uh, corrections workers at all levels. Um, so not just the guards, not just the um, administrators, but all the medical professionals that work in the prisons, in the jails. Uh, we thank you for what you do. Our thoughts and prayers to you. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you um, for that. We have lots and lots of PIs that are working in the facilities and just not just them, but they put their family at risk Mm -hmm. by going to work and coming back home and then possibly exposing their family, which, you know, so big shout out to them. It's crazy, crazy, crazy these times. Um, So, yeah, I think we're done. (laughs) Uh, We just want to wish you guys a happy Easter. Thank you so much for tuning in and share if you can. There's a lot of great information we shared about um, stimulus check, unemployment, and COVID-19 and census. Again, census, census, census. Fill it out, please. We need to be counted. Happy Easter to all of you. Thank you for tuning in. Big shout out to uh, my cousin, Junior Fiso, for breaking my heart this this week with his post and my family my babies um nick and your triplets happy easter um and to auntie kathy and mama dot and my mama in uh chula vista and everyone Happy Easter. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in to the FICA podcast. Please tune in every Sunday from 10 a.m. to 12 right here on Facebook Live. And we will download um, the podcast after 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 here. Mm-hmm. Happy Love Easter. You all.